here is what we're going to do today. We're going to start off with rabbit seasoning, which is one of the three in that trilogy. We've watched rabbit fire. Now it's rabbit seasoning, uh, a little fun time. And then we're going to get into character mashups for today. So with that, Mr. Wizard, I love that film. All right, dude. So let's get into, uh, let us get into character mashups. So what I like about character mashups is sometimes I'll take two characters from totally different worlds and you put them in a scene together, right? And then sometimes I'll take characters like uh, Gossamer, which is the big red furry character, right? And turn him into say Chewbacca or something like that. So today we're gonna concentrate on taking characters that are well known. And we're gonna start with our Looney Tunes as the base character. And then you can turn that into something. So I am gonna go with Gossamer as my character. So who, what, what would be your character? Think of your character, whatever that might be too. If you have your own character that you wanna mash, that's fine. Cause I know like Tater Tot, Evie, you guys have your own thing. Um, you guys kind of pick what you want. I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with Gossamer. So here we, here we have, so Gossamer is like this big, giant furry thing right and it's like a circle and then comes down here if i if i remember gossamer correctly all right so there's kind of my he's gigantic get a little closer and i want to say he's got those eyes that are a little a little devilish and i'm going to turn him into chewbacca this may not be the exact i should really be looking at a picture of gossamer since i don't have one handy but there we go all right so we'll start with that right you got your character and if he has like this heart shape to him, so his head is kind of heart shaped. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the heart shape and then I'm going to add some fur to it, some eyebrows. And then we're going to get into the chewy parts. So you're kind of decorating a character like another, yeah. Or you could do a hybrid. That, that's the whole thing of like mashing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take uh, Gossamer and I'm going to dress him as Chewbacca since he kind of reminds me more of a Wookiee. Who's Gossamer? So and actually I'm going to have his eyes instead of looking down, looking a little up. There we go. Much better. All right, he's staring at you, Tater Tom. He's like, look at you right there, man. All this furry hair that I have. We were all furry once. I was furry once. And then I just lost all my hair and it was sad. All right. So um, I'm going to say Gossamer has, he, sometimes he has arms. Sometimes he doesn't have arms, right? It just kind of comes out. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with a classic Chewy uh, where we're going to have Gossamer and he's going to hold See, I got to remember how it works. He's going to hold his crossbow, right? <laughs> yes, Tater. All right, so, all right, so let's see. He's going to hold his crossbow. And we got a trigger. We have this here. So we're going to give him the chewy crossbow. Bugs Bunny Han Solo, absolutely. That's exactly where I was going with that. You beat me to it. Wait, why is Scott named period? Uh, that's just on one of the, on one of the um, Zoom cameras so that it doesn't confuse it. Like it doesn't confuse me with another name so I don't call on somebody and realize it's just Scott. So that's why he just puts the period in there. All right, so he's got a, he's got a shoulder, right? And then of course the sash. So we got the sash. But no one's named Scott, so it's the point. No, no, Scott is the guy who is the big bearded one. That's Scott. Take my name off so it doesn't 
um, interfere with the cartoon. Yeah. Oh. All right. So, and then we've got the little clips on the side. Gossamer's eyes are probably a little closer together. So I'll have to fix that. So I'm going to start off with my classic sash. And then who would I turn into? Like, he's going to have his hand on somebody, right? And he's gigantic. So let's see. We're going to have his, his feet, his legs almost never kind of um, pull apart totally. And he's got the shoes. So we're going to roll that. And there we go. All right. So we got a little going down. My gossamer, I'm going to move his eyes closer together. So I got to ask, what did everybody think of that episode? And without even giving anything away. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Scott, we didn't have enough time to nerd out before the class started, but believe me, I almost texted you last the, the night of. Um, all right, so we've got a little underpinnings to his eyes. Yep, I agree. When that moment happened, and you know what moment I'm talking about, I freaked out vocally. All right. There were multiple moments. Oh, oh, I know. Trust me. And then after the moment happened and then another moment happened to add to that moment. Oh, beep, 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 beep. You know what I'm talking about. Man, was that brilliant. Okay, so I've got my my sash. And then if I'm going to throw another character in here. So uh, we had a mention of Bugs Bunny as Han Solo. I'm almost thinking I want Taz as an Ewok. Although I don't remember how to draw Taz. I'm going to have to look that up. Taz. Taz as the Ewok. Let's see. Taz. Manian Devil. There we go. Looney Tunes. So I am all for using references. There we go. We'll get a... I haven't drawn Taz in a long time. All right. So we're going to have Taz as a... Maybe a baby Taz. We'll have a baby Taz as a baby Ewok. So I'm going to just do a thing about it. He's kind of like a circle and then like a kind of a triangle underneath because his face. His face is um, like he's got those big old cheeks. All right. There's a little bit of a pouty upper lip, lower lip, sorry, pouty lower lip. Um, and then we're going to get into his eyes, which are, he's not happy about being an Ewok. He's a very grumpy Ewok right now. Oh, look at that grumpy Ewok. Oh, so sad. All right. So I've got a grumpy Ewok. Um, I'm going to have to pull up what an Ewok looks like, too, because I don't totally remember what they wear. Ewok. Ewok. So what are you guys thinking for your character mashup? Oh, there it is. All right. So we're going to have a little have a little hood around this dude. There we go. The lid is about to fall out of my pencil. All right. And then we'll have, there we go. Oh, there's the little hood. My little Tasmanian devil Ewok. Okay, so. I've got this going down, character mashup time. Oops, and there goes my lid. Okay, 
So who's got what going on right now? Nathaniel, who are you mashing up? Nathaniel's totally not paying attention. Evie, who are you mashing up? Um, I actually made a character mashup earlier, so I'm coloring and inking it. Sweet. Do you want to wait to reveal that? Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Saif, what about you, buddy? Who are you inking and or who are you doing for a character mashup? I'm just one of my made up characters. All right. And who are you mashing it up with? Probably like another one of my made up characters. Okay, that works. Tater top, tater kicks, the tater. What characters are you mashing? You're doing skip and your alien skip with duck dodgers. Oh, I love that. All right. Let's see. Pull this hood up on. There we go. All right, there's my little my little grumpy Tazzy walk. Oh, so cute. And then he'll have his hand on his head, which is probably why he's grumpy because he's like, you're short. There we go. Forearms and everything. <laughs> uh, oh, there you go. All right, masking R2D2 with an AT. ATST. I'm down with that. All right. So there's my there's my attempt at that. And then I gotta go back to Gossamer because I gotta remember what his face looks like. There it is. All right, his eyes are definitely too far apart. So we're gonna have to fix this. Nothing wrong with a little erasing and a little A little uh, redraw. All right. So we've got this going. Uh, I have found that some of the most exciting drawing I have, has any, everybody had the chance, you're all on break now, I'm assuming from school. Has anybody in their drawing or creating on their free time found there now we're doing better found uh something interesting in your drawing that you're like man i didn't i didn't think i could do that and then i did do that i'll tell you for me i've been busting out mandalorian stuff like it's going out of style and i have found that a challenge in some ways because it's more human form but it's been an absolute blast All right, there is, let's get his big old smile. I almost has smile, right? There we go. All right, that looks more like a gossamer. Now I'm a little happier. And then I need Chewie's crossbow. see Chewbacca's crossbow. I find myself with a tablet up or a computer and then doing some reference sketches. All right, let's get that uh, crossbow. All right, favorite all time. So have you guys found um, a favorite character that you gravitated to that you just keep drawing it could be your own it could be somebody else's but some some character that you keep drawing because you find it absolutely fascinating and you can unmute yourself you don't have to just pop it in the chat my original character artemis sweet so have you been drawing more of artemis yeah i'm doing lots of concept art and paintings for it excellent and then what are you using for paints? Um, I use acrylics that are at my school. Awesome. Okay. 
there we go. I'll come back in with a pencil and do this in a bit. All right, so there's my, there's my Chewbacca with my grumpy Ewok, my grumpy Tasmanian devil Ewok. And then I need to get this hand down right for his crossbow. I think I'm gonna try toward the top. Um, so I, I've had some people ask, especially on colored pencils, um, cause I dig colored pencils quite a bit and it's the same thing with like Copic, Copic markers, however you want to say it. I say Copic, people try to correct me. And then because they try to correct me, I'm stubborn. And then I just keep saying Copic. Um, is depending on what kind of paper that you're working on, um, if it's a light colored paper, you work light to dark. And if it's a dark colored paper, you tend to work dark to light. so that you can layer your color. So you're actually building your shadows in if it's a white piece of paper. Beetle cake, yes. So is that like what you did for the, um, for when we did the ink month and you did your characters in those prompts? Is that, be, is that beetle cake? Sweet. Yes, I dig that. Which by the way, I did finally finish that print and put everybody's stuff in there and it ships out soon. Yay. All right. So homeboy here, my, my gossamer is going to be locked and loaded. I am very much looking for, I've been drawing on a daily basis and I find that the more I'm able to pump out the better and faster, which I know I've explained to people. And I get the no way, and I'm telling you, it absolutely works. The more you do, the better you get quicker. All right, there's my... I never knew why he had a crossbow as a laser weapon. When you think about it, like, why would he have a crossbow as a laser weapon? However, I don't care because of Star Wars, and it's awesome. So I just go along with it. Because why not have a crossbow as a laser weapon? All right. So I've got my character mashup down. Here's my blue line sketch. Um, if you have the ability to ink, um, go for it. If you do not have the ability to ink, but you can maybe go in with a darker pencil and do some outlining like I'm going to go ahead and start inking my piece and see how this works. Can you do the bone comic mix with Big Bang Theory? Yes, you can. That is actually a hilarious mashup. I also cannot believe that it's Christmas already on Friday. Yes, I agree. I would love to see that mashup. All right. So if you have seen The Mandalorian, if you have not seen the last chapter, raise your hand. All right, have you seen any of the other ones? Is anybody not following it? Evie. <laughs> uh, all right, so Evie doesn't care. Have you, heard, have you heard what happens in the last chapter, Evie? No. Um, who else raised their hand? I think one, one other person did. Rose Brick. Have you watched any of the other episodes? You have, you just haven't watched this one yet. Do you know what happens? No. no you literally have no idea? No. Okay, well then we definitely can't say it because it's too big. And I get it, you haven't seen that one yet, but she's in all this, so that's fine.
I don't know what Tater Tot and Scott are talking about, but it sounds galactic. Asking how laser guns get jammed because in this <laughs> latest episode that was a problem. Yes. I was curious about that. And maybe it is an overheating thing. I'm not sure. That makes sense. I, I like I like that uh, answer. I loved that whole episode. I love the soundtrack that popped in. It gave me goosebumps at that certain scene. All right, I'm gonna ink my dude. So if you have seen it, how many times have you seen it? I've seen it seven times so far. Can anybody beat seven? Scott, how many times have you seen it? I've only had the chance to watch it once. Once? Oh. I, gets, I do want to rewatch it. You have to. It gets it, it gets even better the second, third, fourth, fifth, eighth time. Well, I haven't gotten to eight yet, but I'm imagining that's pretty awesome. All right, so different inking styles, right? We're doing a character mashup. You're sketching out. So if you're watching this post live, um, the idea behind keeping shapes simple, right? And so all I'm doing with Gossamer is starting with a circle or kind of like an oval. And then I've got a rectangle that comes down and then I start bending things. And then with Taz, it's just a circle and a triangle underneath. And the idea being, if you can start to get your compositions down with basic shapes, um, you're more in the kind of perspective that you're looking for kind of get a better idea of composition. All right, I'm gonna keep making my... All right. So... I like combining intellectual properties too. So doing character mashups from like, I want to do a Chewbacca and a, and a, and a Sully like side by side, like they're doing a team up. I don't even know what they would be doing. Maybe they'd be going into like a hair salon, which would kind of be funny getting a blow dry. Right. Okay. So if you had, if you were able to do one thing on your break from school this winter, you could do anything. What would you do? There's no limit. Go to Flagstaff. You would go to, all right. So why would you go to Flagstaff? Because they have snow. And who is not low sledding? If you've seen snow before, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I actually only like to visit snow and then I like to leave it behind a day later. And that's because I live in a place that gets snow. <laughs> so shoveling and uh, shoveling and driving through it and salt on my car on my truck doesn't always do the best, but I can totally understand that. I could go visit it and sled. I like doing the big hills with the tubes, sledding with a tube. I'm telling you, sledding with a sled fun because you can do jumps and whatnot sledding with a tube oh there's thing there are two kinds of two parks there are the ones where they can literally haul you up the mountain with like the um motor the chairlift yeah yeah the lift or there's the kind where i have to drag it up an entire hill yes i have had to do that and i did not like it but it did have better hills yes I have, I, th those are a blast. I like the chairlift ones, although trying to get your, trying to get your giant tube and stuff up doesn't always work the best. All right, so I know we've kind of discussed inking too, if you're inking, if you're not inking, not a big deal. 
but there's a couple of there's different ways you can ink like i know sophie's got microns i've got some microns microns are a, a firmer uh tip to the ink pen actually i have new ink pens Ooh, what did you get um these ones is it a brush pen uh, yeah sweet how do you like that oh yeah yeah i love brush pens that's what i'm using right now and uh, I, I like the fact that I can vary my lines. So like not everything is a similar line weight. Where when you have a firmer tip, like a, a micron, you know, like I'll use a, a one or maybe a two every long once in a while, I'll get into a 0 0.5. 0 0.005 to me is just frustrating um but i'll use those sometimes depending on what kind of line work i want to pull off for the majority though i usually do a brush pen all right there we go and maybe i'll just do a little shading under it Okay, so I got some stuff already kind of piling up. It's looking a little interesting. My Chewbacca, and really it, it just throwing a sash in a thing because he's already furry. So it's gonna have to like be maybe some coloring of his hair or his fur where it's not as red. I would like to go somewhere warm, which is why I am going to Florida. All right, so there we go. Eighty degrees. I would totally trade with you. It is thirty-two degrees here. You can have this. I have no problem giving it to you. I am a warm weather person and I like humidity. I mean, I don't love it, but I like it. I can deal with it. 29, guess who you are? I'm gonna say you're Saif and I'll bet I'm right. Ha <laughs> ha, I don't know, okay. So, not bad. He's done. Now it's time to get to my grumpy Taz. My grumpy Taz uh, Ewok. Oh, look at my grumpy Taz. There we go. So, uh, Sophie, which characters? Which character mashups are you doing? Um, I'm doing Goose the Cat and Marvin the Martian. Sweet. I love Goose the Cat. I thought it was absolutely hilarious when that dude just started swallowing people. Yeah. We are talking about um, Captain Marvel, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll get my crazy Ewok in. And those little ears, oh, little ears. So do you guys know what an art drop is? Have you ever heard of an art drop before? And you can unmute because I can't, I, I can't see the thing at the moment. Have you ever heard of an art drop? No. All right, so here's what an art drop is. An art drop is when an artist or really anybody, you create art, right? They create something and then they hide it somewhere. And then usually use social media. So I use Instagram and Facebook. And then they give clues as to where it is. 
right? And the first person who gets it wins. So it's like a scavenger hunt. It's absolutely hilarious. I've done, I'm doing the 12 art drops of Christmas and I've already done eight. Today will be number nine. And I've had cars peeling out in parking lots looking for stuff. So today will be an online hunt, which means anybody from anywhere can find it and win. All right, get the staff in here. Two, when you're inking lines, again, it all depends on your style. I like to show, I don't like to connect everything. I like to have it a little rougher because I find that it, for me anyway, it's a little bit more interesting. All right. Let's get my Taz in here with his. Spotlight rose brick? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. I love it. I love what you have in the background, too. The quintessential vest. Thank you. Love it. So cool. So did did he shoot first? It's you gotta know he shot first. Right? He did shoot first. Do you know why George Lucas edited that out to the go the other way? Because well, he didn't seem like more like a good guy. Yes. Sophie for the win and high five for you. Absolutely. Okay, so here's my little dudes, right? Oh, look at that. My little, my little, my big Chewbacca Gossamer is, he's just, he's like, oh, you're such a cute little guy and, and little Taz is not having it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ink a little background here too. And then if you've got time, cause we have about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We're gonna see if we can't so what would, be a, what would be a quintessential background? We could do Hoth. That doesn't make sense with an Ewok. So if we did Return of the Jedi. Scott, give me a Return of the Jedi background. Well, I was thinking the, the, the trees, and then I was also thinking having like a speeder bike in the background with the character riding the speeder bike, but I wasn't sure of which character. Okay, speeder bike. Star but that's War. probably a lot to do in, in 10 minutes. Let's see if we can do it. Are you ready? Scott threw down the challenge. It's time to speed draw. All right. So I've got a, I've got a speeder bike. Who goes on the speeder bike? Stop growling at me. Daffy. Da Ooh, good one. All right. Daffy, at, Daffy is who? Who should Daffy be? What character? Maybe like a stormtrooper. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go for it. With the helmet, we gotta see that. All right, I am gonna try to do a stormtrooper <laughs> Daffy Duck. Look what you started, Scott. I guess I, I guess I brought it on myself. Okay. So if I got a speeder bike down, I'm just taking a look at a picture to see what it looks like from the side. All right, so we're going to go stop growling at me, dog. So I'll just tell you, I thought initially when he was contacting one of the, uh, when he was contacting uh, a Jedi, yes, honey. You didn't push the button with the blue and no so on. It isn't. This was the next episode. All right. So I no, thought it was going to be Mace Window. After, but no, you didn't put it. This, is, like this is the episode. No, I don't like this one. Yes, All right. So we've got a speeder. It would have to be so effing. It would. It would. Right? If you saw Mace Window come back, I mean, now granted, the ending that they did give to me is supremely epic because. It made me, not yet, it made me feel like I wanted to when I watched um, the sequels. 
which I'm not a huge fan of the sequels. I like I like seven a lot. Seven to me is a lot of fun. Eight went off the rails. And then uh, nine tried correcting some of those rails, did an all right job, but it didn't give me all the feels like this episode did, clearly as I have watched it a ridiculous amount of times. All right, Scott, there's my, there's my speeder bike. We gotta get this roll down on. All right, there's my speeder bike. Uh, now for Daffy Duck. Good night. This is going to be. Do hey, remember when I said you have a hundred thousand bad drawings in you, and that's what Chuck said. <laughs> get ready for my. Get ready for one of my hundred thousand right here. <laughs> okay. Let me. I for, sometimes I forget what Daffy Duck looks like from the side. So I don't. I. I don't draw him a lot. Okay. Ben, I have a question for you since you mentioned the sequels. Yes. Do you like Babu Frick? I love him. I think he's hilarious. Okay, I do too. Yeah, I there, there's certain like that's why part of what happened in nine, right? I, I like that because I like that element to it. Um and I thought he was I thought he was funny and it made sense. You cannot jump on here. I thought he made sense with with the arc. There's really not a character in nine that I would disagree with um, being in there. Like I like um, what's her face, um, not Zoe. What 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 is it? I forget. I don't know. But Babu Freak, I like. Ooh, look at this. Can I get the eyes down? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at my Rogue One Stormtrooper helmet that I have over there and see if I can get this right. And I don't really think he would have a mouth. I think it would just be, and it's just super small, but I think I think it, the beak is covered and then Let's see what else do the eyes look like? And then we're gonna give him, he's gonna be sitting on it. Stop. He's gonna be sitting on his speeder bike like so. All right, so for I got Christmas, his. I made Christmas cards for everyone in my class. Sweet. And I took pictures. Do you have do you have pictures that you can show? <laughs> uh, that one. Ooh, I like that. I dig the snowman. Uh, I'm to make sure you can see it. So I get there's a glare, but oh, I dig Max the dog. Absolutely, nice. Thank you. I love it with his tongue out too. Yes. How many how many of those did you draw and make? Overall around 30. What? Oh, I love Snoopy. How can you not love Snoopy? Let's see here. Oh yeah, um there's this one. One second. <laughs> yes. Very cool, man. And the Grinch. You did a good job on the Grinch. It's not easy to capture that face. And then this was one that wasn't necessarily copied. It's just that I wanted to do something in a Chuck Jones style. And so I made this. <laughs> that looks cool. I dig that. Thank you. Did, now, did you, did you uh, send them out or did you like um, email out? I sent them. Like I actually gave them to the people. So you actually physically drew those? Mm-hmm. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Can See I you. show mine? What's that? Can I show mine? Yes, you can. Okay, so 
This is my idea of what Bomb Bomb will look like at Sheldon uh, from the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Does he have a Green Lantern or a Flash shirt on? It's uh, Superman. I took it from one episode. That's awesome. And then, did I see that you're inking also? Yes, I inked it. Love it, dude. All right, here is my. I'd like to share. Absolutely. It's All just right. a sketch right now, but that's what I got. Oh, look at that. Wow. I love that you met. I didn't realize you were actually mashing Daffy Duck with your style, dude. That came out awesome. Thank you. Check that out. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. I like the fact that a lot of you dudes have your own characters and stuff that you do. I think that's pretty exciting. All right, so here's my... See if we can get my challenge from Scott in in time. Um, if you would like to show, as we're coming up here to about five minutes, um, if you would like to show, please let us know. And um, Scott can see that, and then we will we will put yours on, because I would love to see everybody's mashups. Okay, we're gonna ink super fast. Um, who's claiming? Evie's claiming. Yes, I would claim also. I would throw in on that. I would, I would, I would challenge, I wouldn't challenge Evie, right? Not like a challenge to a duel, but I would definitely say, all right, how do I get in on that? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Challenge accepted. Yeah, Nathaniel, you, you are a pretty fast inker. All right. So here's my, I mean, it's not too bad. Let's see if I can get his. All right, Scott, did I do it? I'm very pleased with that, actually. He's like, hey, you didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great. Oh, thank you. All right, there we go. We'll get some mechanical parts in here. Always love the speeder bikes. Yes, I I would I wanted one, and when I found out how they filmed that in the in the uh, the redwood forest, and then just sped up the camera as they were walking through, I thought that was super fascinating. I like the making of that stuff. I think it's pretty awesome. All right, there's my under part of the carriage. There we go. And then he's got his foot pedals. All right, there's my there's my Daffy. This is for you, Scott. I'm going to ship this to you. This is my Merry Christmas to Scott. I love like, it. Thank you. He's like, I don't want it. Why are you giving it to me? <laughs> no, I absolutely love it, actually. <sighs> see if I can come on a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I would frame that and put it right up on the wall right right next to me. All right. So should I should I put a twin sun in here just, just to tie in a new hope or just leave it? Or a little Death Star. Would you like to see a little Death Star? Death Star would be cool. All right, we're going to do a little Death Star. And of course, it's not the fully put together Death Star. I love in that episode when it's not giving away any spoilers, by the way when it's, I saw your planet die, blah, blah, blah. Like I blew up the Death Star and she's like, which one? Yeah, burn, that was a burn right there. And if you all know that tonight, tonight Jupiter and Saturn are, they have their like big alignment thing and it will look like a giant star in the sky. So if you, have a chance to go outside tonight 
and look up in the sky, it's going to be super, super bright. Um, can we appreciate that the book of Fet? Heck yeah, we can. And that it's not season three. It's actually its own thing. That's the part I was happy about. Yes, because I didn't want it. Not, not that I didn't want it to, because obviously you have the whole Mandalore thing they're going to have to explore. But um, but I I was hoping the Book of Fett was going to be, or the Book of Boba, was going to be its own thing, because it, it, he deserves it. All right, let's see. We'll get... get a little some parts that aren't you know what i didn't understand either until i had to read about it was the fact that that pearl they found in episode one or chapter i should say chapter nine but the first episode of this season was actually what they used to make lightsabers out of did you know that apparently that means no all right there you go, Scott. It balances out. I needed something to balance the side with the speeder and Daffy Duck. So, do you want me to say to Scott, or or is that just too cheesy? I'll just say it on the back. You want me to say it on the back? Sure. sure. All right. As long as it doesn't bleed through. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. Nope, we're good. <laughs> to the all time greatest Scott Ryder such an epic name from me there you go that's to you buddy oh I love it thank you I shall I shall get your address later and I will ship it to you so as we rock it out and we uh, we close out, I will not be with you next week. I am taking, I'm going to a water park with all of my nieces and nephews. Sweet mercy, uh, and uh, and then my children. And so we are going to go. We are going to go do, take a little time off. So you will have Mike Jazorka this week and next week, and then you will have Nadine this week and next week for Papercraft. And then I will see you again at the beginning of January. Does anybody want to show? Wait, Sophie, I wanted to. Did you show and, yours? And Evie has her hand up too. Yes, Evie needs to show. I want to see that. Um, Sophie, because you were banging away, I wanted to see what that mashup was. I'm not very good at inking, so I messed up my picture by inking it. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. You got to open it one more time. I did. I, I just got a like small peek, dude. That is brilliant. I don't think you messed it up with inking at all. I really don't. I think you did a fantastic job. I actually like the ink. Way to go, man! Your off the bobblehead I have. Yeah, I have that same one. <laughs> That's awesome. Well done, Sophie. Well done, um, Evie. Okay. Um. So. I kind of did like a zombie, so I just put a bunch of characters together. Oh yes, it's it's very Tim Burton esque. That's awesome. Thank I love you. the stitching and everything. It's very cool. For me. Yeah, that is a lot of colors. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the whole idea, right? It's a whole mix yeah. of everything. Very cool. Thank you. Well done, Evie. I love that. All right, Nathaniel's gonna show. All right, buddy. No, I'm just closing my book. Oh, you're closing your book. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Wizard, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, a happy Hanukkah, if you're celebrating Hanukkah. And uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed this month with you guys and the whole joy of art and giving. I've gifted a whole bunch of stuff that I've created. This is going to Mr. Scott Ryder. Um, yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay, so he gets something. Stop, please. And, uh, oh, come on, put yourself as a spotlight. You don't need me. Let's see you, Santa. There you go, Santa Scott. Yes, <laughs> that, is, that is the way you close it out. All right, 
So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful time. I will see you back in January. I can screenshot of him. You could. All right, screenshot him. Everybody who wants a screenshot of Santa Scott right now. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of his like elf. He smells like beef and cheese. I mean, I'm sure you don't. I'm sure it's right. Like, <laughs> it's right. It's just, I'm just saying that beard is so epic. <laughs> so you guys have a wonderful, wonderful holiday break. And I look forward to seeing you in the new year. Great job on your drawings today and keep practicing. Later, dude. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Ben. Absolutely. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone.